Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. A fresh case, half case, pick your team break number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second half is already in the store, so check it out if you missed out on this half right here. Now, I'm sure everyone read the item description. I didn't, so I was saying the wrong thing earlier. But if you read the item description, just like some, some of you did, if you bought at least three teams right here, if you bought at least three teams, you'll get one entry max into our $75 break credit promo. So now there's everyone right here. I'm sure everyone read the item description though and got all you, got at least three teams. So I'll at the end of the break, I'll randomize those names that bought at least three teams and then randomize the names and the name on top, 75 bucks break credit, winner take all. Is this Prism World Cup? It is, okay. I want to make sure I have the right case. All right, you can kind of see that there's a top row. Here, I'll, I'll adjust the camera a little bit. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then six on the bottom right here. I'm gonna roll the die. One, two, three for the top row of six, four, five, six for the bottom. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna be doing the bottom row. This row right here will be reserved for break number four, which like I said, is already in the store. So I'll mark those four with the Sharpie so you know that they're from the same case. Let's see, I don't, don't have room here. Let's move all these over here. All right. We're ready now. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Now, some of you should be uh, familiar with the kind of value that you can find out of soccer breaks, especially during the World Cup, especially if you were collecting with us four years ago when we were doing that. So good luck to everybody and happy hunting. I think the last time we did a soccer, well, the last time we were together, it was Saturday and we, we talked about the Saturday games. So then we missed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then we had today's game as well. So there's one, two, three, four days of World Cup that we missed out on. So on Sunday, Serbia beat Costa Rica 1-0. The huge game was Mexico beating Germany 1-0. That was a big, big win there. I saw, saw uh, when I was driving around LA, driving back home to see my dad for Father's Day, see my parents. A lot of, uh, a lot of cars on the freeway flying the L3, the Mexican flag. There were a lot of people in, the, in Southern California, very happy about that, which is very cool. Good win for North America. Mexico won, Germany nil, and then Brazil tying 1-1 to Switzerland, which was somewhat unexpected. That was Sunday. On Monday, we were off on Monday, Sweden taking care of business, 1-0 over Korea. England get, narrowly getting the win 2-1 over Tunisia on a late Harry Kane goal, which was fantastic. So England's pretty happy about that. And then Belgium, I think, had nearly zero difficulties with Panama. They cruised to a 3-0 win. On Tuesday, Japan unexpectedly beating Colombia, 10-man Colombia. There's someone who was sent off in the third minute. Senegal, which is supposed to be a nice underdog candidate, uh, they beat Poland 2-1. So Senegal looked good. And then Russia... Russia won 3-1. They beat, they beat Egypt. So Russia 
still cruising along. John Oakery is saying, hey, is Russia really good or do they are they in a bad group? A little bit of both. I think Russia, a lot of their big players um, end up staying in Russia, playing in the Russian league. So they don't end up in a lot of different leagues because the Russian leagues pay them so much money. So not a lot of people leave. So they've got a pretty pretty underrated crew. Underrated that not a lot of, I think, people know the Russian league very well. And they've got home field advantage, which is huge in the World Cup. And they're in a weak group. So that's why they're probably going to win the group now. There's Mark Milligan for Australia. So these ones aren't numbered, so I'm going to kind of breeze by those, but they will ship. Stuff like these inserts will ship. It's only these uh, these commons that won't be shipping. All right, so that goes to Australia. Kike Hernandez with that one. We'll save one of those, though. Cristiano Ronaldo with another goal. And 14 out of 15, Juan Guillermo Guardado. Oh, Cuadrado, that is. So usually these low-numbered cards will replace an autograph in these boxes. I'm sure everyone knows that by now. So that goes to Colombia. That goes to Kike with that one. Ed Ram saying Colombia thought, thought for sure they had the W. Well, once they were down, a man, I think it was it was curtains for them. I thought they were going to pull off. There's Tadic for Serbia at a 125. I thought they were going to pull off the draw. So Chicharito is excited. Mexico might win that group. I don't think they were... Actually, as sort of a longer shot, I'd, I had a lot of underdog picks for my group picks. I actually had Mexico winning the group. I didn't think it would actually happen, though, but they've got a good shot at it. 149 out of 149 for Sweden. Olav Toivanyan. Mesut Ozil, Tony Cruz. Yeah, the German team, I, th I think a lot of their post-match interviews were just like, yeah, this was a wake-up call. Losing to Mexico was a wake-up call. we got to get back on track. At a 125, Camille Gleek. I don't think they're, I don't think, I don't think Germany is worried per se, but I think they, they that game definitely woke them up though. What a great game for Mexico, though. The scoreline looks kind of boring, 1-0, but it was, uh, I feel like it was exciting from start to finish. Nice Cristiano Ronaldo. That's for Portugal, Daniel Patera. I wouldn't be surprised if, if these, the, if these uh, CR7 cards, even though they're not numbered, maybe pay for that spot. All right, next box. So today's matches, so we're caught up caught up now. Today's matches, speaking of Cristiano Ronaldo, he scored in the fourth minute, 1-0 over Morocco. Looks like that seemed kind of like a boring game. I don't know, I didn't watch any of the, re I have them DVR, but I haven't watched any of those games. But Cristiano Ronaldo scored very, very, very early on and looks like they just kind of grinded into a defensive matchup. Morocco, not exactly... I think defensively they can they can break a team down, but it looks like they just didn't have the attacking prowess there. Um, Uruguay taking care of business, beating Saudi Arabia 1-0. I think that was to be expected. Um, and Spain as well, 1-0 over Iran on a Diego Costa goal in the 54th minute. It looks like they just kind of kind of let the foot off the gas a little bit there too. Although I don't know why they would do that you would think that would I think goal difference starts to make an starts to become an issue in these groups you would think that maybe Spain or someone would want to do that but 
Anyhow. Um, tomorrow's matchups. The early game is Denmark, Australia. I don't think Denmark should have much. Australia looked good against France, but I think in the end, I think Denmark should get the W at the end. Um, France against Peru is the middle game. That should be a pretty good one. I don't think Peru is going to look like... It doesn't look like they're going to get out of the group, but they can still surprise a team or two. And we'll see what Argentina does against Croatia. Well, that's the late game. I think I might be able to actually watch that game live. Argentina at Croatia. Or actually not at Croatia, but Argentina is a designated home team. Croatia could be... Could pose some difficulties for Argentina as well. All right. There's a cry. I had this name before too. And stumbled with that one. Forty-eight out of sixty-five for Poland. Now after this break, we'll have a one box. This break, we'll, we got about another twenty minutes left in this break. But after this one, will be a quick one box break of Spectra Soccer. And then we'll have um, nothing else after that. So maybe I know Prime Cuts Baseball was really close. We can work on that. I think only Lee's saying only two teams left. So that could be one we could do right after this. Vanilla Gorilla saying, I, I don't follow soccer at all. Why why aren't why isn't the US in it? Because we had a terrible you have to qualify for it. So there's a number of qualifying matches leading up to it. We just didn't qualify. We lost to like Trinidad and Tobago. And, and a couple other teams, and then next thing you know, no World Cup for us. Which is actually hurt. Um, yeah, it was pretty embarrassing, as John Okra is saying. Um, and it's actually pretty bad for, uh, not that we care about the profits and losses of a, of a major media corporation, but it has not been good for Fox either, who carries the World Cup. I mean, really, for a lot of businesses, you know, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, you know, who may have been counting on a little bit of a summer retail boost for the World Cup. Emil Forsberg, and then 199 for Sweden. So that's the that's the story. Our autograph is going to be. is going to be Nemanja Matic for Serbia. And that goes to Kip Kip Hooray with the Serbians. Yeah, John's saying that he's he read somewhere hundreds of millions of dollars were lost by Fox. I mean, in a lot of regards, the World Cup, I think, well, not even a lot of regards, I can almost... My guess is that the World Cup gets a lot more ratings than the Olympics does. You know what I mean? So, which is also another once every four year sort of deal. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, a country not being well, a country of our of our magnitude not being in the World Cup, you know, is kind of a huge deal financially for like a lot of retail businesses are counting on you know guys that are selling you know World Cup jerseys. Stuff like that, you know, like with with our guys' names on the back of it, you know, a lot a lot of money being lost by who who makes our kits, John Okra? Do you know offhand? Is Nike? I think Nike makes our our World Cup or the national team kits. So, for example, Nike, not losing, you know, not is losing a bunch of money because we're not buying jerseys, you know, or so soccer balls and stuff like that, you know, so. People aren't watching on TV, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, like, that's – it's a huge economic <laughs> – a huge economic kind of kind of uh, kick, in the, kick in the crotch for us <laughs> because we're not in it. Everyone's losing money. All the advertisers, all the car companies that advertise, all the soft drink companies that we're going to have our World Cup guys in commercials, that's off the board now. All that stuff's off the board I'm sure. I'm sure it hurts the. 
I'm sure it hurts Panini too. Hurts the hobby a little bit. Because if you don't have, you know, there'd be far more interest in people buying into these World Cup breaks, into these soccer breaks. I don't think we're going to have a problem moving these, but, or moving NT soccer when it comes out. But I'm sure there would be even more interest if we were in it, you know. So, yeah, VW does have a cool ad campaign about getting on the other country's uh, bandwagon. I, I thought that was a clever one. The Brazilian girl in that commercial. Easy on the eyes, John Oakley. All right. All right, good luck. Here we go, next box. We've got Bolaños for Costa Rica. There's Mohamed Salah, Olivier Giroud. Thirty-five out of one ninety-nine on that one for Costa Rica. That goes to Victor. Jordan Henderson. And we've got Dybala for Argentina. Red. That goes to Jason Lawner. 103 out of 149. We'll save one of these messies as well. Oh, and another autograph. Nice. We're going to get for Poland. Ooh, nice Robert Lewandowski. The Polish striker going to uh, Gabriel. Six out of ten. That is strong. When's Poland playing next? I don't think they're playing until... Looks like Sunday. This Sunday against Colombia. So you'll see him in action then. So we're halfway through. Nice Lewandowski. Next box. What are what are the games? What are the matches for the rest of the week? So we got we talked about the Thursday matches. On Friday, you'll have Brazil. Costa Rica. I think Brazil should not have too many problems there. The interesting one, Nigeria and Iceland on Friday morning. Iceland looking good. They they could with a win, they could uh they could set themselves up to advance pretty nicely. I don't think the Nigerians are as strong as they have been in previous years. And then there's Serbia and Switzerland. Serbia always plays tough. That could be could be a 0-0 kind of game. On Saturday, we'll be here on Saturday. That's when Mexico plays next. They play Korea. Man, the Koreans have struggled to score goals in a lot of World Cup matches lately, so I don't really see them surprising anybody in that one. Belgium cruised in their first game. I think they'll be fine against Tunisia. 
Germany needs to beat Sweden. I don't think that's going to be an easy one for the Germans. The Swedes can, can play pretty tough. And then Sunday, we get to England-Panama. Japan-Senegal. Poland-Colombia. On Monday... I think these guys, Saudi Arabia and Egypt are already out, so that's kind of an irrelevant game. I think Russia is moving on, so they might not have to worry too much about that Uruguay game. Portugal, Iran, Spain, Morocco. Um, that could be some. That could be a close one there, depending on how the other games fall into place. Australia, Peru on the next Tuesday, the twenty sixth. Can't open this pack right here. There we go. Australia, Peru, Denmark, France, Iceland, Croatia, Nigeria, Argentina. And then when do the, the the knockout group start? Got another set of games on the 27th, 28th. And I think the 30th, Saturday the 30th, is when we'll see the round of 16 matches. So all the group winners will play another group's runner-up. And I think it's I think it's set up where where A and B will play each other, and then C and D, E and F, G and H. So the winner of one will play the runner runner up of the other. All right, there's Isco for Spain. Spain, one of the favorites to win it all. That goes to Jeremy Merle. Fifty-seven out of sixty-five. So by the way, these these parallels aren't numbered. That's why I'm kind of breezing by those, nor are those, but they will ship. Nice Lionel Messi. Insert and refractor. Goes to Jason Lawner. We need Messi to do messy things. We've got Edgar Barcenas. Blue for Panama. That'll be for TJ. 56 out of 199. And another autograph is Deli Ali for England. Nice. Deli Ali for England, Jason L. I wonder what I wonder how England's gonna do this campaign. I'm gonna see how they do in their next match, but they put themselves in good position with a late win over Tunisia. He's the the plays for Tottenham Hotspur as well. North London team. And that is that. Two more boxes to go. And Silver Sacker is saying there's still one left in Prime Cut. What team is left in Prime Cuts? And that's 2016 Prime Cuts baseball. Just added that to the store today. Got a lot of oldies but goodies on the site, folks. JaspiesHoppyland.com, including the second half of this break. Blue Jays for $21.99. That's it. Oh, we got to get that done. This break's almost done, folks. I got like 10 minutes left in this break. This box, that box, and a one box break of Spectra Soccer, which takes like five minutes. And the next thing you know, I'll be like, hey, why, why are the Blue Jays still left? Oh, was it added? Prime Cuts was added yesterday. Uh, the, the day, days don't... Days are all blurring in together at this point. I don't know why it's the twentieth already. Why is it the twentieth? Wasn't it just like what didn't we just start June? Yesterday? 
This year is going by too fast. And let's do the second half of this uh, of this break too, right here. This Prism World Cup. Remember, if you buy at least three teams, you'll get one entry into our seventy-five dollar break credit promo. One entry max. But if you, the more teams you buy, though, the more you can block other people from getting into the promo, which will increase your odds. All right. Good luck. Yeah, see, Bill, Bill's like, hey, is it just me or is this year flying by? I agree, Bill. 92 out of 99 for Tunisia. That's Osama Haddadi for Tunisia. That'll go to TJ with Tunisia out of 99. And another autograph. We've got Karl Heinz Rumenisch for the Germans. That goes to Gabriel in Germany. Nice. There you go. Old school German. And let's look for more parallels. When you get these cards, folks, do your due diligence and and kind of look up those parallels on eBay because you might be surprised, even if it's a high number parallel, you might be surprised at how well some of these cards may do on a secondary market, especially with names like that. There is Alexander Golovin. So, I mean, even though this is like a blue out of 199 for Russia, that goes to John Okre. Like, look it up. You know, he's a pretty popular midfielder for a big team, CSK Moscow. You never know. That might cover a spot. Especially with the World Cup going on and Russia playing as well as they are. You might be surprised at some of these teams. Nice, Derek P with the Jays and Prime Cut. So Prime Cut sold out. So we'll be doing, we'll finish off this break. Then we'll have a one box break of Spectra Soccer. And then we will dive into Prime Cuts, which is also a relatively quick break. And then we'll be ready for yet another one. The, the Mets Rockies game is tied up now. Take the over on those Mets games or on those Mets Rockies games, right? I don't know what the run total was. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. As as some of you know. Uh, some of you know here at jazbeeshobbyland.com we do enjoy for entertainment purposes only we do enjoy discussing a little bit of the sports wagering we like to put a penny or two on some games here and there maybe win a half a penny back sometimes you never know for soccer I had placed I had Russia to win the group at plus 200 that's looking pretty good Egypt to advance plus 170 not looking good I think I got too cute with this bet. Portugal to not advance at plus 300. Actually, I, I still might be able to get that. I, and Morocco to advance, plus 325. Could be interesting. Although, I think their loss to Portugal today may have hurt those chances. Group C, Denmark to win the group, plus 475. Is, uh, I think I could still do that. Peru to advance, plus 145. Not looking good. 
these are mostly underdog picks anyway, um, specifically. I wasn't really going favorites here. Uh, group D, I had Iceland to both win and advance. Iceland to win at plus 1,400, but to advance at plus 325. Um, I feel pretty good about that. I feel maybe good about maybe even winning that one too. Iceland drawing that match with Argentina was huge. Group E, I've got Brazil to win minus 350. That's the only favorite I picked out of that group. They can still do that. Serbia to advance plus 120 is good. Group F, there's Gabriel. Hola. Que tal? We've got Group F. I did take L3 to win the group as plus 550. And I was saying before the World Cup started, I said the only chance Mexico has to win that group is if they beat Germany. They beat Germany. 1-0. So they look pretty good to win that group at plus 550. Sweden to advance at plus 135. We'll see what happens there. Group G, I have England to win at plus 120. Tunisia to advance at plus 400. Don't think that Tunisia one's going to happen. England's got a good shot at winning the group. Group H, Poland to win at plus 200. Uh, I think they could still do it. And Senegal to advance at plus 140. I feel good about that. So most of my, my wagers for the group looking okay. I wasn't confident enough, Gabriel, to take L3 in the game, though. I think they were like plus 800 or something like that for the game itself. But, you know. Ah, Sadio Mane for Senegal. Nice. That goes to John Okre, Liverpool man, Liverpool striker. And I think Senegal, of the, I think people are saying of the African teams, like Senegal and Nigeria, Morocco, Tunisia, 54 at 99. Of those teams, Senegal, I think, has the best chance to advance from their group. Maybe make a little noise in the tournament. Gabriel's concerned Mexico might not be too good the next game. Well, you're lucky, Gabe, that the Koreans are not very good. So, so I think Mexico shouldn't have an issue. I think Korea hasn't scored a goal in a, in a World Cup uh, group game for like a little while. I think they've had some struggles. They've qualified okay. They always seem to not quite do it in the group. At least not since 2002. When they went to the quarters, I think. Quarter or semifinals even. Goal scorer today, Luis Suarez for Uruguay. That goes to Jeremy Merle. But yeah, that's the thing. For Mexico, they certainly have to they certainly have to take care of business in the next match. I think they understand that. There's Mayu Yoshida for Japan. I think Chicharito said that in his in a post match press conference. He was just like, Yeah, we can't get too high about this Germany win. We gotta look on to win the next match and then the next one. And then I think he said the whole thing. But 179 or 199. But I think I think they're well aware of that. And I think they realize, I don't know, Mexico seems to have some pretty lofty goals. I think they're they're pretty they're pretty certain they want to compete for the World Cup, not just get past the curse. You know? Alright, that's it folks. Uh, break credit time. Let's give away some money. Let's go back to the list. Let's alphabetize by your first names. Sort by column A. So if you bought at least three teams, you get one entry in the promo. So Daniel bought at least three. He gets an entry in the promo. Geek A did as well. So did Gabriel. Greg got four. Jason Lawner got a spot. Jeremy Merle got a spot. John Okray got a spot. X-Line gets a spot in the promo. Kip got at least three. So did TJ and Victor. Oh, yeah. What was the hit out of the last box? That was kind of weird. I actually don't think there was one. My guess it might have been that the... Now that I look back at it, 
because it's either an autograph or a low numbered card. It might have been that Germany Connections card because we don't see a lot of the refractor versions of of these inserts. So that that's why I kind of instinctively sleeved it up. That might be it. I don't know, kind of a weird box there. All right, let's open up random.org. Let's get some dice. And let's get a list. So how many names do we have on this list right here? So everyone has a 1 out of 11 chance at 75 bucks a break credit. It is a winner take all on that one. Good luck. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time, name on top is Gabriel. There you go, Gabriel. After six times, you get 75 bucks of break credit coming your way. We'll email that to you later tonight. So check whatever email you used to place your order. Thanks, everyone. We've got the second half in the store on jazpiecehobbyland.com, so check it out. And we'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.